The politics of Iran take place in a framework of a theocracy in a format of syncretic politics that is guided by an Islamist ideology. The December 1979 Constitution and its 1989 Amendment define the political, economic, and social order of the Islamic Republic of Iran, declaring that Shia Islam of the Twelver School of Thought is Iran's official religion. Iran has an elected president, parliament, assembly of experts, and local councils. According to the Constitution all candidates running for these positions must be vetted by the Guardian Council before being elected. In addition, there are representatives elected from appointed organizations to protect the state's Islamic character, current office holders, political conditions. The early days of the revolutionary government were characterized by political tumult. In November 1979 the American embassy was seized and its occupants taken hostage and kept captive for 444 days because of support of the American government to the King of Iran. The eight-year Iran-Iraq war killed hundreds of thousands and cost the country billions of dollars. By mid-1982, a succession of power struggles eliminated first the center of political spectrum and then the Republicans leaving the revolutionary leader Ayatollah Khomeini and his supporters in power. Iran's post-revolution challenges have included the imposition of economic sanctions and suspension of diplomatic relations with Iran by the United States because of the hostage crisis political support to Iraq and other acts of terrorism that the U.S. government and some others have accused Iran of sponsoring. Emigration has lost Iran millions of entrepreneurs, professionals, technicians, and skilled craftspeople in their capital. For this and other reasons Iran's economy has not prospered. Poverty rose in absolute terms by nearly 45% during the first six years since Iraqi invasion on Iran started and per capita income has yet to reach pre-revolutionary levels when Iraqi invasion ended in 1988. The Islamic Republic Party was Iran's ruling political party and for years its only political party until its dissolution in 1987. After the war, new reformist, progressive parties had started to form. The country had no functioning political parties until the executives of Construction Party formed in 1994 to run for the fifth parliamentary elections mainly out of executive body of the government close to the then-president Akbar Hashemi Rafsanjani. After the election of Mohammad Khatami in 1997, more parties started to work, mostly of the reformist movement and opposed by hardliners. This led to incorporation and official activity of many other groups, including hardliners. After the war ended in 1988, Reformist and progressive candidates won four out of six presidential elections in Iran and right-wing nationalist party of Mahmoud Ahmadinejad won twice. The Iranian government is opposed by several armed terrorist groups, including the Mojahedin e Khalq, the People's Fedayeen, and the Kurdish Democratic Party. For other political parties see list the political parties in Iran. Supreme Leader The most powerful political office in the Islamic Republic is that of the Supreme Leader, of which there have been two. The founder of the Republic, Ayatollah Rahola Khomeini, and his successor, Ali Khamenei. The Supreme Leader is appointed and supervised by Assembly of Experts. The Assembly of Experts is a publicly elected body. Given that the right to stand as candidate is severely limited by the Guardian Council consisting of six clerics appointed by the Supreme Leader and six lawyers nominated by the head of the judicial system of Iran, the Supreme Leader is the head of state with some executive powers related to defense, religious affairs and Guardian Council. Historically the Supreme Leader has remained aloof from election politics. However, in the 2009 election, some of the pronouncements by Ali Khamenei were perceived by many to favor the incumbent candidate. The leader appoints the heads of some powerful posts, the commanders of the armed forces, the director of the National Radio and Television Network, 
the heads of the major religious foundations, the prayer leaders in city mosques, and the members of national security councils dealing with defense and foreign affairs. He also appoints the chief judge, the chief prosecutor, special tribunals and, with the help of the chief judge, half of the twelve jurists of the Guardian Council, the body that decides both what bills may become law and who may run for president or parliament. According to the Iranian constitution the supreme leader asserts the authority of the president. He can veto the laws made by the parliament and legally he permits for presidential candidates to proclaim their candidacy. The declaration of war and peace is to be made by the supreme leader together with a two-third majority of the parliament, executive branch. The constitution defines the president as the highest state authority after the supreme leader. The president is elected by universal suffrage, by those 18 years old and older, for a term of four years. Presidential candidates must be approved by the Council of Guardians prior to running. After being elected, the president must be appointed by the supreme leader. The president is responsible for the implementation of the constitution and for the exercise of executive powers, except for matters directly related to the supreme leader. The president appoints and supervises the Council of Ministers, coordinates government decisions and selects government policies to be placed before the legislature. Currently, 10 vice presidents serve under the president, as well as a cabinet of 21 ministers, who must all be approved by the legislature. Unlike many other states, the executive branch in Iran does not control the armed forces. Although the president appoints the ministers of intelligence and defense, it is customary for the president to obtain explicit approval from the supreme leader for these two ministers before presenting them to the legislature for a vote of confidence. Legislative branch. The current legislature of Iran is unicameral. Before the Iranian revolution, the legislature was bicameral, with the Senate half elected, half appointed by the Shah. The Senate was removed in the new constitution. Parliament The Parliament of Iran, or Majlis, comprises 290 members elected for four-year terms. The parliament drafts legislation, ratifies international treaties, and approves the national budget. All parliament candidates and all legislation from the assembly must be approved by the Council of Guardians. Guardian Council The Guardian Council is composed of 12 jurists, including six clerics appointed by the Supreme Leader, and six jurists elected by the Parliament Majlis from among the Muslim jurists nominated by the head of the judicial system. The Council interprets the Constitution and may reject bills from Parliament deemed incompatible with the Constitution or Sharia. These are referred back to Parliament for revision. In an exercise of its authority, the Council has drawn upon a narrow interpretation of Iran's constitution to veto parliamentary candidates. As of the early 1990s, the Guardian Council vets candidates for national election in Iran mostly due to high candidacy rate in elections. There were more than 6,000 candidates standing for the 2013 presidential election in Iran, but only the six most qualified candidates were approved by the council. According to the CIA World Factbook, the Guardian Council is a part of the executive branch of the government. Expediency Council The Expediency Council has the authority to mediate disputes between the Parliament and the Guardian Council, and serves as an advisory body to the Supreme Leader, making it one of the most powerful governing bodies in the country. Its members include heads of the three government branches. The clerical members of the Guardian Council and various other members appointed by the Supreme Leader for three-year terms. Cabinet members and parliamentary leaders also serve as temporary members when issues under their jurisdictions are under review. Judicial Branch The Supreme Leader appoints the head of the judiciary, who in turn appoints the head of the Supreme Court and the chief public prosecutor. There are several types of courts including public courts that deal with civil and criminal cases and revolutionary courts, which deal with certain categories of offences, including crimes against national security. 
The decisions of the revolutionary courts are final and cannot be appealed. The special clerical court handles crimes allegedly committed by clerics, although it has also taken on cases involving lay people. The special clerical court functions independently of the regular judicial framework and is accountable only to the supreme leader. The court's rulings are final and cannot be appealed. Assembly of Experts the Assembly of Experts, which meets for at least two days, twice annually, comprises 86 virtuous and learned clerics elected by adult suffrage for eight-year terms. Based on the laws approved by the First Assembly, the Council of Guardians has to determine candidates' eligibility using a written examination. The Assembly elects the Supreme Leader and has the constitutional authority to remove the Supreme Leader from power at any time. As all of their meetings and notes are strictly confidential, the Assembly has never been known to challenge any of the Supreme Leader's decisions, political parties and elections. These are the most recent elections that have taken place. Political pressure groups and leaders active student groups include the Pro-Reform, Office for Strengthening Unity, and the Union of Islamic Student Societies. Groups that generally support the Islamic Republic include Ansoe Hezbollah, the Iranian Islamic Students Association, Muslim students following the line of the Imam, Islam students, and the Islamic Coalition Association. The conservative power base has been said to be made up of a web of besieger militia members, families of war martyrs, some members of the Revolutionary Guard, some government employees, some members of the urban and rural poor, and conservative-linked foundations. Opposition groups include the Freedom Movement of Iran and the Nation of Iran Party. Armed political groups that have been almost completely repressed by the government include Mojahedin e Kalk Organization, People's Fedayeen, Democratic Party of Iranian Kurdistan, the Society for the Defense of Freedom, Military. The military and the core of the Guardians of the Islamic Revolution are charged with defending Iran's borders and Basij militia are charged with maintaining both external and internal security. Administrative Divisions Iran consists of 31 provinces. Ardabil, Azerbaijani Garbi, Azerbaijani Sharki, Alborz, Bushehr, Chahar Mahal, Virginia Bakhtiari, Esfahan, Fars, Gilan, Golstan, Hamadan, Hormozgan, Ilam, Kerman, Kerman Shahan, North Khorasan, Khorasan, South Khorasan, Khorasan, Kokolu Yeah, Virginia Bayramadi, Kordistan, Lorestan, Markazi, Mazandaran. Om, Kazveen, Semnan, System Virginia Baluchistan, Tehran, Jazz, Zanjan. The provinces are each headed by a governor general. The provinces are further divided into counties, districts, and villages. Local government. Local councils are elected by public vote to four-year terms in all cities and villages of Iran, according to Article 7 in Iran's constitution. These local councils together with the parliamentary decision-making and administrative organs of the state. This section of the constitution was not implemented until 1999 when the first local council elections were held across the country. Councils have responsibilities including electing mayors, supervising the activities of municipalities, studying the social, cultural, educational, health, economic, and welfare requirements of their constituencies, planning and coordinating national participation in the implementation of social, economic, constructive, cultural, educational and other welfare affairs.